In this video, you'll see how to create a user form in Excel and we'll add some text boxes to that and labels. To start, we'll open the Visual Basic Editor and to do that on your keyboard, hold the Alt key and press F11. That opens the Visual Basic Editor. In there, you can see the workbooks that are open and this is the workbook in which we're going to add the user form. So I'll click on that to make sure it is selected and on the menu go to insert and click on user form. Now we have a little user form and a toolbox that opens up. I'm just going to move that out of the road and in order to see the properties we're going to click on view and properties window. And now we can see the different properties of that user form and we're going to change the name. It has a default name of user form and we're going to highlight that and we'll call this FRM part loc. We're going to store part information in here and I'll press enter and that changes the name. The next thing we're going to do is add a text box where the user will be able to type information. When I click on the user form the toolbox appears and the capital A is a label, the AB is a text box. So we're going to click on the text box button and point on the user form where you want the top left of the text box to be. So I'm going to click here and that creates a text box. It is selected automatically and in the properties window you can see that it is called text box 1. We're going to call that TXT part because this is where the user will enter a part name. I'll press enter just to complete that and now we would like a label that tells the user what to put in here so I'm going to click on the user form again click the label button and I'll click just to the left of that text box and I'll point and make the label a bit narrower and with that label selected I'm going to go into the properties and call that L B L part and I want to change the caption of it so I'll scroll down till I see caption and for the caption I'm going to change that to part and press enter and now we have a text box where the user will be able to type and a label that tells them what to type there. 